What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video. My name is of course Paul. Now in today's video I had loads of issues last night. Basically after I turned off the camera last night I had issues with a company I've been working with for the last two years. Now that's all been resolved thankfully so that's all sorted and over and done with now. That finally ended today and we got everything sorted out the way it should have been. So that's all good. We're all good now on that one. Now, that's why I never picked up the camera this morning because I was still in my head, I was trying to process everything and then the weather didn't help and then I've got obviously split shifts this week as well. Not split as in like I'm doing two separate shifts every day. It's the fact that the last two days I've been on the middle. Tomorrow I'm on an early, then I'm on a middle and then I'm on a late. So, <clears throat> and this throat isn't helping one bit to be honest. But what I do want to talk about is I've seen a couple of comments just lately saying that I don't reply on my social media, Twitter, Instagram, etc. And I just want to put that to rest as the fact that yes, I do. If you send me a message on Instagram, it may take me a day or two to get to it because of obviously the broken phone that I'm using right now, which is obviously, you know, this iPhone. It's totally smashed to bits. So once I've got my new phone and stuff, I'll be opening them properly. If you want to send me a message or anything like that, Send it through Instagram, on the DM, send it through Twitter, on my wall or whatever, and we'll talk there. I do respond to messages, no matter what, so it's all good, don't worry. If you want to reach out to me, please feel free. Also as well, we've got no light tonight, as the battery is now on charge. So, I'm actually now finally set up, ready to go for Orlando. I'm all set up, I've got everything sorted out that I need to. The new bag is obviously here, I just need to load that up now with the stuff that I'm going to need as I'm not going to take the roll along case as you've seen in the videos previously. For this trip I'm going to take the backpack and then I'm also going to take the cocoon backpack with me for while I'm on the show floor for one day where I need my laptop with me and the cocoon backpack is perfect for that but I'll show you that when, we, when it comes to it. Now obviously I want to go into a bit of an update. So first off I reached out to Sony about my RX100 Mark IV as obviously you haven't seen it lately and that's kind of why I've done no real vlogs because the Canon is a bit hard to carry around I haven't got I've got the small man Frodo tripod but now and again holding that out you know it's all good for certain stuff but it's uh, this one's so much easier now when you turn it on that's as far as it goes and if you turn it off, it turns off and then the lens stays out. So you've actually got to touch the lens and push it back in. So if I try turning that on again now, absolutely not. On. It's just totally, it's like the motor inside seems to have given up hope. But fingers crossed, I've reached back out to Sony, told them because what they told me to do was go through the menus once it's switched on and reset it all basically I'd done that and then all of a sudden the lens popped out and it was working and then I tried switching it off and then next thing it was just constantly so unfortunately this is not working right now which is a shame because I do actually like that camera a lot even though I have tried to get rid of it in the past I do actually like the camera now let's move on to this the Hero 5. Now I've heard some rumours on the Hero 6 of where when you switch it on, let's see if it works right now. It does this. So there you go, you're seeing it actually in the video right now. I haven't doctored this or not and this is actually what you're seeing. I've basically switched it on to start recording and I'm getting this. It's a black screen with not on working at all, the whole thing is literally gone. What, what you've actually got to do is take it out of its housing, remove it and remove the battery. Literally shut the whole thing down by removing the battery. Then if I place that back in, I won't put it back in its housing just yet. If I click the record button now, and it's happened again. Now obviously GoPro need to fix this because apparently this is happening with the Hero 6 as well. But this is now, this is a Hero 5 and it's actually doing it. So it's got to be something to do with software. 
it's got to be something that's going to come in a software update. So fingers crossed, you know, they get this sorted out because I can't even switch it. I can't even switch it off. I have to literally pull the battery every single time. Now, obviously, when I was out over the weekend and I was trying to record footage from inside the Lamborghini and inside the Porsche, unfortunately, it was doing this. Hence why there was hardly that much footage. And, well, there was footage, but it's not the footage that I wanted to get. I wanted to capture a lot more. Now, I also wanted to capture me and David having a conversation. I was going to do some quick fire questions and stuff, set the GoPro up, and I was going to turn on the Canon, the Canon, and just have it closed over, but so you could still hear us, and I'd capture the audio from the Canon and place it over the GoPro footage for you. But unfortunately, that's what it was doing. So it kind of ruined the footage for me, which is not good. But guys, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to end today's video here because I've got a few things that I need to do tonight. I've got a lot of work that I need to do for both websites tonight and also some stuff for YouTube. Now, I'm trying my hardest to work everything out. I've finally posted on Instagram again the last two pictures, yesterday and today, which has which been a bit of a thing with the, obviously, the Bro iPhone. It's hard to post. Now, I'm used to posting stuff every single day, but I haven't been able to do that. But, I'm getting there. I'm learning to adapt by just using the iPad and the iPhone. Friday is pre-order day for iPhone 10. If I don't get me pre-order, with basically, if, they, if I get there and they say, yeah, you can pre-order, and then I pre-order, and then they say, you can't have it until way down the line, then I'm going to cancel the order and just get the A plus and be done with because then I'm also thinking about getting the Google Pixel 2. So, make sure you stay tuned for that one, guys. It's going to be a pretty hectic time coming up. Tomorrow, we'll return with a, normally, a normal video tomorrow, because I'm going to take the camera with me, with being early. I'm going to see if there's an update for this GoPro, and try and get this sorted out, because that's ridiculous. Sony, I need them to get back in touch with me, so I can get it sent off to them, and they can look into it. But yeah, guys, so I just wanted to clear that up. Yeah, I do reply when I can and I will do to everybody that like everyone that sends me a message or whatever I will respond as long as it's not stupid. The GoPro, the Sony and lots of stuff coming up guys so I hope you're looking forward to that. Give this video a big thumbs up for me, subscribe if you're new and guess what? I'll see you all tomorrow guys.